Hey guys, welcome back to another video of me solving a coding interview question. If you're new here, my name is Michael, I'm a computer science student, and I solve coding interview questions. So today's question is... It's the move elements to the end question. And so basically this question gives you an array, and you're being asked to move like all the elements with a certain value to the end of the array. So we have this array, one, two, two, three, four, two, and we wanna move all the twos to the end of the array. So we have this two here, this two here. They should all go to the end of the array. And the order in which we return the other elements that are not twos really doesn't matter. Now there's a slight variant of this question that really takes into account the order in which you move the items, but this is not it, so let's dive into it. So what are we gonna do? Well, we could first identify like all the twos that we have, like iterate through the array and identify a two. So when we get to this first two, we know that it's a two and we know that we have to swap it. But now the question that arises is where do we swap it to? Like with what element do we swap it with? So for us to do this thing like really easily, we're gonna have two pointers uh, moving to the left and right of the array. So we have one pointer to the left one, we have another pointer to the right. And we check if the right pointer is a two which is the element we're being asked to move to the end. If it is, then we simply just move left because it's already to the end. There is no need to, you know, move it since it's already there. So we take that out, we move the right pointer, and then we check, is the left pointer a two? No, it's not. So we don't have to move it, right? So we move the left pointer, one to the right, and now we're in an interesting spot where both the left pointer and the right pointer are interchangeable. What do I mean by that? Well, left pointer is equal to the element we want to move. Let's just call this to move. And right pointer is not equal to the element that we want to move. So now we could successfully swap two and four. So this guy right here becomes four and this guy right here becomes two. So now we could move both pointers in tandem, right? So we move this pointer and we move this pointer. So now we're in the same situation, right? With two and three, we wanna move two to three. So we swap them. So this guy right here becomes three, and this guy right here becomes two. And just like that, we've moved every two to the end of the array. Clear enough, let's dive into the solution. Well, I don't think I could access like this question on leak code because I don't have premium leak code. So I'm just gonna code it. So let's declare our public static. I don't know what we should return. I'm guessing we should return the same array. I'm gonna public, um, what should we call it? Move elements? And let's say we're given an integer array of nums, classic leak code move. And then we should move all the twos to the end and we're given an integer that we should move. Let's call this to move. So what are we gonna do? As we said, we're gonna iterate through our array nums the length i plus plus and then at this point we have access to all the indices in the array as a little side note i have noticed that i've been calling indices indexes 
So I looked it up and it turns out you could interchange them, like you could use indices and indexes. But anyways, doesn't matter. Um, all right, so what do we have to do now is to check our conditions that we defined in the explanation. So if the right pointer, I just noticed we don't have a right pointer. So we declare a left pointer, initialize it to zero, and we declare a right pointer, we initialize it to nums.length minus one. Yay. So what we have to do now is to check if the right pointer is already something that we want to move but it's already in the right so we don't have to move it it's at the end so if nums of right is equal to to move then we do nothing right we just decrement the right pointer because we want to find things that we want to move right and we could check if nums of left is not equal to to move right then we want to do nothing we want to increment the left pointer and now this is where the interesting thing happens so if the nums of left is equal to the value that we want to move and the nums of right is not equal to the value that we want to move it's not equal to to move then we could swap left and right so i'm going to declare a help for function swap left and right and take it nums Cool. Then I could simply just declare a public void called swap. All it takes in an integer i and an integer j and an integer array. So now we declare an integer called temp. We set it to array of i. And we could set array of i to array of j. And now we could set array of j to temp. Cool. So this is our swap function. I think that's pretty much it. Um, what else? What else? I don't think there are anything else to do. So we have the nums of length, is nums of left is equal to what we want to move, and the nums of right is not equal to what we want to move, then we swap them. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it for this algorithm or the solution. So now let's talk about the time and space complexity, right? For time complexity, we're doing very good. You know, we're going through all the items in the in the array so that's going to be o of n after that we're just doing a bunch of constant time checks and nothing special there so it's going to be o of n for space complexity we're not uh, we're not storing anything so i'm going to say space complexity is o of one and that's that's it it's time and space complexity so don't have a webcam still working on that if you like this type of content please like the video consider subscribing to the channel and also share this video with your friends and family who might be preparing for their coding interviews and also um i'm always down for discussions in the comment section and i'll see you in the next video oh, oh wait 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 i think i have a story to tell um I don't know why, but let me, let me just say. So I wanted to record this video um, in the afternoon. That's like three, four hours ago. But then there were a bunch of kids playing football in the lawn right outside my window. And I, I wasn't sure whether uh, the mic could pick up their noises. So I couldn't record the video. 
and I went to sleep for like four hours or so. I went to take like a four hour nap and I just came back and I felt so unproductive and so bad about myself and I was like, I'm gonna record this video right away and that's why my voice sounds like I've been sleeping for 200 years. But anyways, like this video, comment, like, subscribe, blah, 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 everything. Bye, I'll see you. I won't see you. Why did I say I'll see you? Um, I'll see you in the next. Bye.